Hi there, my name is Mr. Reader. Du Jia Xian Chen. Okay, I'm an English teacher. I've taught at various British universities, and I'm going to talk to you today about some differences between British English and American English. In particular, some practical advice for if ever you're going to make a journey by road. Okay, some of the things you're going to need to know are the differences between some of the car parts. For example, in British English, this front part of the car here, with the engine underneath, we call this the bonnet, whereas in American English, you call this the hood. This side part of the car here, in British English, we call this the wing. In American English, we call it the fender. Now then, what makes your car go? Well, in British English, we fill our car with petrol, and we have to go to a petrol garage to do that. Now, in American English, we fill our car with gasoline, or gas for short, and you'd go to a gas station to do that. In Britain, nobody will offer to clean your wind screen, whereas in America, if you go to a gas station, somebody might well offer to wipe your wind shield for you. So wind screen, wind shield, okay? Moving towards the back of the car, this is a common source of confusion. We put the luggage in the boot in British English, whereas in American English, we put it in the trunk. Right, the differences don't just stop there. Once we get on the road, well, we have different names for the different types of roads. So for example, a four lane road where you can go pretty fast up to 70 miles an hour. In Britain, this is known as a dual carriageway. This makes my American friends laugh because they say, wow, carriageway man? Who the hell drives a carriage in Britain these days? If you want to go on the six lane road, this is called a motorway in the UK, in British English. Whereas in America, this is known as the highway. And that's just about it. Thanks very much for listening. Hope that's helped you. If ever you go on a journey in either Britain or America and you can avoid some confusion. Thanks then, have a nice day.